To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. Sun Tzu. I wanted to start this video off with a quote because for those of you that don't know, the lore behind me and these filthy fucking creatures, allow me to explain. This video is probably gonna catch you off guard, but I don't care. When I was young and living in Caracas, my house was an open house where wind would go through it very, very easily. And back before the bubble economy exploded and Venezuela became essentially Latin Detroit, we didn't need air conditioners or we didn't have any air conditioners because we didn't need it. Where we lived, the wind would go through naturally. Fans were more than enough. One day I decided to take a nap because, well, I was a fucking child and children tend to take naps. I don't know if you know this. When I laid my head on the pillow and proceeded to go to Snooze Island, I started to hear something weird in my pillow. At first, I thought this weird noise was just my ears doing that weird thing where you're sleeping and it just sounds like worms are crawling inside of it. But no, I wish it was worms. The sound was way too fucking spastic for it to be worms anyways. But turns out I was resting my cute little child head on top of a nest of centipede babies. And I don't know if you guys know this, but their nest essentially consists of them bundled up in a ball of horrors. So imagine a death ball of baby centipedes with the mom being the raid boss. I have no idea how I wasn't bitten into fucking Hades and heaven, but I didn't leave unscarred. Oh, no, no, no. It traumatized me. And ever since that day, I've had a dislike for the centipede lives. Hashtag not all bug life matters. So today I'll make a video about the history of centipedes, just so I can better know my enemy and know how to defeat them once and for all. Chapter one, fuzzy little legs. Centipedes from the new Latin word centi meaning hundreds and the Latin word pedis or pes meaning foot are predatory anthropods belonging to the class of Chilopeda. Chilo, Chilopeda, Chilopeda, I don't know how you say it. Chilopeda is the animal class for people with feet fetish, but who are too insane and would smash a centi scorch. You fucking disgusting degenerates, have some fucking dignity, goddamn you. Centipedes are elongated segmented creatures with one pair of legs per body segment, which means one centipede has probably a hundred legs. I say probably because some centipedes can vary. Some can have a measly 30 legs, which is not a lot, but it's still a nightmare, while others can have a nightmarish amount of 382. I got 382 problems, and finding a method to kill a centipede ain't one of them. Here's a fun little nightmare fact for you: All centipedes are venomous and can inflict painful bites, injecting their venom through their pincer-like appendages known as forcipules. For, 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 hello everybody, my name is Forcipules. And if you're thinking to yourself, oh Lucy, they're the size of an iPhone 14, sometimes. I'm sure a little bite from them won't do anything to me. Here is a video of Coyote Peterson being stinged by one in the wild. You're fucking welcome. Also, here's another nightmarish fact for you. Like spiders and scorpions, centipedes are predominantly carnivorous, which means if you give them a piece of meat, they will eat it. And last time I checked, people are made of meat. So fucking cool, I guess. Glad to know that I'm on this thing's menu. If you want a blowjob from one of the fucking anime centipede chicks, she's gonna eat your ass in the worst way possible. Thank you, God, for creating this beautiful creature, I guess. Their size ranges from a few millimeters in the smaller litho lith lithiobiomorphs, Jesus fucking Christ, what a fucking word, and geophilomorphs to about 30 centipedes, which is 12 inches, by the way, for you American viewers, I guess, in the largest scolo scolopendromorphs. Jesus fucking Christ, pick a fucking name. Can't believe I picked this subject to fucking talk about and I can't pronounce the names. Imagine making love to your significant other and about to yank their pee pee from below the bed covers only to be met with a centipede longer than the average penis size of a man. In North America, by the way, I looked it up. <laughs> I mean, just, yeah, the average pee pee size in a North American is 4.81 inches. So yes, I looked it up, it's real. You Americans have no luck with your with your small pee pee sizes. Centipedes can be found in a wide variety of environments. They normally have a drab coloration combining shades of brown, red, and yellow, and sometimes a really dark purple. Another term for this is that they have natural camo. 
Yeah, thanks, God. They definitely needed camo. That's what they fucking needed. Thank you for adding that to their fucking move list. What's next in the fucking patch notes? They're gonna have fucking rockets attached to them ba their backs. What's next? You're gonna add a 15% speed boost reduction or some shit? Caverniculus and subterranean species may lack pigmentation, while many tropical scolopendromorphs have bright aposomatic colors. These ones are easier to spot than the regular ones, and, and, and to be honest, make them look like they're kind of made out of gummy candies to me. But it still doesn't stop the fact that I want to kill every single one of them when I see them literally on sight. Worldwide, an estimated 8,000 species of centipedes are thought to exist, 3,000s of which have been discovered, which means there is a centipede monster girl out there who I refuse to give love to and will shoot on sight if I see them. And I was thinking to myself, when I go to Canada and study abroad, I, I am definitely not going to see any centipedes. Nope, I was wrong. They can exist even beyond the Arctic Circle. Most centipedes don't die in the winter, as they can live up to six years. However, what they do in winter varies depending on the species and where they live. During winter, centipedes may reduce their metabolic rate to conserve energy. This allows them to survive for an extended period without actively seeking food. Some will remain active, while others will enter a type of hibernation known as diapause. So, so far, centipedes are venomous, have camo, and can exist in cold climates. Next, you're going to tell me that they're strong and can kill a prey 15 times their size. Oh yeah, and since we're on the topic of centipedes killing shit and doing what God intended them to do. If you squish one and it manages to get away, but you manage to break a few legs off, do not fear because it can grow it back. Centipedes molt as they grow. They naturally develop more pairs of legs each time they molt. So the older they get, the more pair of legs they have. But what's actually crazy is that they can go full X-Men mutant on themselves and regrow legs that they lose to predators. When centipedes find themselves in the clutches of a predator, they can detach some of their legs to get away. Then they simply regenerate their lost limbs when they molt. They may have to molt a few times to fully regrow their legs, which is why some centipedes have a few legs that are shorter than the rest. But you might be asking yourself, Lucy, they have so many legs. Surely they must be slow as fuck. Now, Centipedes are pretty fucking fast. How fast? Well, they move at about 1.3 feet a second, or 0.3 meters per second, which isn't that fast, but it's fast enough to instill the fear of God in you. And also remember, they have camo. They can disappear. You take your eyes off of that motherfucker for a second, you're dead. Speaking of sneaking up on you, did you guys know that centipedes are actually fucking ancient? Spanning with a fossil record of over 420 million years. They existed on this godforsaken planet longer than people have. I am so surprised that centipedes just decided, hey, we're not gonna go extinct. Speaking of prehistoric times, you wanna know what a centipede looks like almost 400 million years ago? There you go. In 2021, a fossil was reported, probably a shed exoskeleton of an, I don't even know how to fucking say that word, with an estimated width of 55 centimeters, which is 22 inches, length with a length of 1.9 meters, six feet three inches jesus fucking christ and a body mass of 50 kilograms jesus this motherfucker is taller than the entire height average of the miami heat he's taller than me jesus christ it's just it's terrifying that's all i have to say imagine this fucking centipede balling against fucking shaquille o'neal i don't like betting against my own race but Shaquille O'Neal is fucked. Them motherfuckers got fucking 100 J's on. You think Shaquille O'Neal's gonna fucking beat that? Centipedes to me have always been portrayed as evil in media. They've always been portrayed as evil in media like video games and movies. Whereas their polar opposites like a butterfly is portrayed as good. You know? Well, sometimes butterflies are portrayed as good. I mean, it depends on what kind of movie. If it's a horror movie, then get the fuck out of there. Centipedes and butterflies mean death. One of my favorite evil characters of all fucking time, Moira, likes centipedes. So I'm trying to ask everybody this. What is your favorite animal? Scolopendra gigantea. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Attack commences. Listen, just because she likes centipedes doesn't make me want to smash her any less. I'm just saying. Another one of my favorite forms of centipedes is a Pokemon which is Scorch. I love this Pokemon, but every time I catch it and use it and I think, wow, this shit's really fucking good, I get terrified because I'm starting to like centipedes. But I also like Scolipede, which is 
definitely one of my favorite buck type pokemons of all time i love this shit this shit's fucking strong it can destroy an entire team if it wanted to which makes it much more scarier both of these are amazing Pokemon, but modeled after hell itself. It's weird because in media, I'm not as scared of centipedes as I am in real life. In real life, I would piss and shit my pants. Except for that one scene in fucking Tokyo Ghoul where that dude puts a centipede inside the dude's ear. Ugh. That shit left me traumatized. I don't know if it's a psychological thing where my brain tells me that they aren't real, but as soon as I see them IRL, I want to nuke the planet. I want to nuke the planet with them on it. And it all stems from me having a phobia of them. Many phobias develop as a result of having a negative experience or panic attack related to a specific object or situation, hence the Venezuela story that I did in the beginning. And I haven't really gotten any help coming over this phobia. I mean, I have watched videos on TikTok, but every time I see a centipede, I break my screen. I'm kidding, I don't actually break my screen, but it's, it, it made me want to. Scolopendrophobia, or chylopedrophobia, is the fear of centipedes. One of the reasons is many centipedes produce venom and have painful bites. Another reason is the number of legs that the centipede have that could gross or scare some other people out. Another is that they seem to scraw crawl and slither at the same time, which is fucking scary to me. For me, the reason why I get scared for centipedes is that I imagine them crawling into an area of my body that they're not supposed to. Imagine having a centipede crawl up into your booty hole and living there. Not just for days, for years and years and years. Only to find out it laid eggs inside of you and now your body is a zombie like in The Last of Us. But instead of mushrooms on your head, you got a fucking centipede for a head. That oh jesus why is that not why is that not a game concept yet holy fuck but it's very understandable that i have a fear of centipedes because many people have adverse reactions to spiders or, or scorpions or hell even centipedes or different kinds of bugs having a fear of bugs in general is pretty normal but reactions can vary from disgust to anxiety to outright fear and fear is a constant thing that will exist as long as humanity and free will is a thing so yeah I'm always going to be scared of centipedes. I don't think that's ever going to change. But here you go. A little bit of a history lessons on centipedes. That's it for this video. If you like, comment, subscribe. If you have a fear of centipedes, please put it down in the comment section down below. I want to know. I want to know what centipedes did to you. Tell me. Tell me, child. Where did they touch you? Tell me. I'll be there. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, I'm descending down. Oh. Oh.